as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming, with Sister Tanya Nugis. Maranatha, page 140, External Parade of Heathen Power, May 12th. The time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. 2 Timothy 4, verse 3. Rapidly are men ranging themselves under the banner they have chosen, restlessly waiting and watching the movements of their leaders. There are those who are watching and waiting and working for our Lord's appearing, while the other party are rapidly falling into line under the generalship of the first great apostate. They look for a God in humanity, and Satan personifies the one they seek. Multitudes will be deluded through their rejection of truth that they will accept the counterfeit. Humanity is hailed as God. As we near the close of time, there will be greater and still greater external parade and heathen power. Heathen deities will manifest their signal power and will exhibit themselves before the cities of the world. And this delineation has already begun to be fulfilled by a variety of images the Lord Jesus represents to John the wicked character and seductive influence of those who have been distinguished for their persecution of God's people. All need wisdom carefully to search out the mystery of iniquity that figures so largely in the winding up of this earth's history. In the very time in which we live, the Lord has called His people and has given them a message to bear. He has called them to expose the wickedness of the man of sin who has made the Sunday law a distinctive power who has thought to change times and laws and to oppress the people of God who stand firmly to honor Him by keeping the only true Sabbath, the Sabbath of creation. The perils of the last days are upon us, and in our work we are to warn the people of the danger they are in. Let not the solemn scenes which prophecy has revealed be left untouched. If our people were half awake, if they realized the nearness of the events portrayed in the Revelation, a reformation would be wrought in our churches, and many more would believe the message. We have no time to lose. God calls upon us to watch for souls as they that must give an account. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.